Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 35. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our automatic transmission control programming. Now, this is going to only be used on a dominator box. On an HP box, we don't have enough inputs and outputs to accomplish this. But on a dominator, we can control a various amount of Ford, Chrysler, and GM style transmissions. I'm going to go through all the different various aspects of transmission programming, working with our shift pressures, working with our shift timing, working with our torque converter lockup. There's going to be a lot of things to cover. So let's jump into our videos so we can check out how to work with programming or automatic transmission in our Holly V5 software. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our automatic transmission control in our Holly EFI software. Now, if you're running an HP box, this is not going to apply to you. You don't have enough inputs and outputs to be able to properly control the automatic transmission. So if you're using a dominator, this is an option. If you have a 4L60, a 4L70, a 4L80 transmission, and you want to take control over it using the Holly Dominator box. Now, rather than use an external transmission controller, you can program everything within the Holly, controlling your part throttle shifts, full throttle shifts, torque converter lockup, and line pressure. So it's going to be a, a tremendous tuning tool, just as we would find an OEM ECU, if you're familiar with tuning a Gen 3 GM, a lot of the same functionality as far as the programming goes for the transmission will be right here in the Holly, except it makes it much, much more simplistic. We don't have to worry about a ton of different tables going and contributing to how our torque converter locks up or to how the part throttle shifts are made. We can simplify and streamline the process. So let's jump in and take a look at how to work with this auto trans control. First thing we're going to do, jump into our toolbox and we need to go and open up our transmission ICF folder here. We're going to go down here into transmission and we're going to go down here and select one of our options here. Now these are pre-populated base calibrations based on the transmission type you're working with. So we can see 4L60, 4L80 and there's two different 4L80s based on a naturally aspirated or force induction application. Now the difference between these two, we're going to find that the line pressure is commanded a little bit different here in the force induction application. So uh, for reference sake, if you're wondering what the difference is going to be, you can certainly poke between these calibrations and look at compare and contrast the differences between them. But that's going to be one of the big glaring uh, differences in this 4L80 base to the force induction. We also have a Ford application here with a 4R70W. And then we have our base config, which is going to be a blank configuration file that we can uh, go through and look at. So that's actually what we're going to be taking a look at here. It's just the base blank configuration. We'll go through and uh, go through all the different tables and set up and, and configuration details. Let's just go grab our base config blank transmission, click open, and we're going to find we have this transmission icon here at the top. So we'll see transmission ICF. Let's click on the icon right here, and it's going to be bringing up on the left hand side all the programming details that we have to work with. So we have our transmission set up. This is going to be all the details that we need to program to make it work right. We're going to have our shift parameters, our up and down shifts, wide open throttle shifts, our line pressure. If you have a programmable accumulator in your transmission, you can program it here. Our torque converter programming, and it's going to give me some errors here because we haven't set it up yet. Um, some of the advanced programming for torque management, and then assigning our inputs and outputs. So let's jump in here to our transmission setup. Let's talk about all the configuration details. There's some th specific things that we need to know, kind of an order of operations to make everything work properly. So in our transmission here, transmission type, we're gonna be selecting the transmission type that we're working with. Obviously, we don't wanna select the incorrect transmission type. Um, it will not control it properly. So we have our drop down menu here. We have a couple choices for 4L60 transmissions, 4L70, and the 4L80. Now I have the most experience with the Dominator box using the 4L80 transmissions in drag applications. Um, I haven't used the other Ford applications here, um, but a lot of the control routine is going to be the same. So the functionality here just pretty much standardizes the transmission tuning. If you're coming from doing flashing on a GM or a Ford or a Chrysler, you're going to find some of those OEM tables are not going to be in the same language as what we find in the Holly software. So the Holly standardizes the transmission to tuning between any of these different transmission types, which is a real nice benefit here, rather than having to know all the programming details and the ins and outs with the OEM, OEM ECU controlling the actual transmission. So um, I'm gonna go in here, let's just grab a GM 4L70E 2009 plus. Let's assume we're controlling that kind of transmission just for uh, sake here for going in through the video. Now we're gonna find, thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.